for that particular story. Now, still on matters politics, no white smoke was witnessed in Naivasha, where leaders of the One Kenya Alliance had, sent, had set a camp in a meeting that kicked off yesterday. The leaders, who seemed to disregard the president council to support ODM leader Raila Odinga, are yet to name a flag bearer. The search for a tip of the spear in the forthcoming general elections among leaders of the One Kenya Alliance entered its second day today in Naivasha. The Oka principles comprising of ANC boss Musalia Mudavadi, Kanos Gideon Moy, Wipers Kalonzo Musioka and Ford Kenya's Moses Wetangula seemed to rebuff the president's pointer to merge forces with ODM leader Raila Odinga and clinch the presidency in next year's polls. Because I will assure you, there is no way a country can move forward if leaders are not together. With one foot still in the Jubilee coalition, Kano has declared its independence to seek new shelter before the rubber meets the road, further indicating the withering flare in the ruling coalition. I appeal to you today is that we need to end that conversation whether we are here or there. Ours was an NDC decision that was given and we will see that decision through. But for now, because three months into an election, we are supposed to be entering into either alone or we are engaging with others of like-minded. The meeting concluded with a statement that the head had been realized, but no indication as to who it was was given, creating speculation on whether a champion had really been picked out or the riddle of who will be boss was too hard to crack for the principles. <laughs> We are, not, we are not here as friends, we are not invitees, we are part and parcel of the One Kenya Alliance. And as Oka made their plans, Deputy President William Ruto termed their coming together as a script from the tribal playbook, adding that national unity cannot be realized without incorporating all the Kenyan people and not just a select. The DP found the bottom-up model, stating that Jubilee was unable to realize all its goals due to a split in the unity of the party, occasioned by an intrusion, a term that could only refer to the handshake. As the so-called horses gear up for the August polls climax, the field continues to grow warm, and so does the drama, with a single contender jogging the course as others await revelation. Emmanuel Kutosi, KUTV. Thank you, Emmanuel Kutosi. Now, still on political formations, the Jubilee Party's top decision.